Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be the part two of yesterday's video where we used uh, calculation groups and time intelligence. And in calculation groups, we reused calculation items uh, in in um, in previous month to date and previous quarter to date. We reused calculation items uh, MTD and QTD. Today I'm going to show like um, how we can have the variance and variance percentage reusing the calculation um, items. Let's look at Power BI. It's going to be a short video uh, and uh, and um, look into this variance um, calculations. So here we are uh, yesterday's uh, Power BI file where I have a period on the on the this matrix visual using calculation uh, group called time intelligence uh, and if we go to tabular editor uh, we have a uh, previous quarter to date is using uh, reusing the calculation item QTD to, to correctly calculate the uh, previous quarter to date uh, I will put the description in the uh, I will put the link to the previous video in the description in case you you missed to watch it so what in this video we're doing is calculating the variance. So now we want what, what is the month to date and previous month to date, what is was the variance and what was the percentage. Again, we can now take advantage of um, uh, calculation items. So what we can do is, uh, let's say we call it month to date dollar variance or month to date, okay, dollar variance. So what we can do here is uh, simply calculate uh, our selected measure and time intelligence our item calculation item uh, sorry this is period is equal to MTD so the variance is going to be current MTD minus previous MTD just copy that and this would be previous MTD so this will give us the variance and now we need to calculate the dollar so I'm going to duplicate this from my year just uh, quickly uh, to save time so percentage variance so what that would be uh, our divide Uh, divide our uh, MTD dollar variance. Why we are doing this? Because we are reusing the MTD dollar variance, which already have a difference between previous uh, current and previous month to date. And uh, whatever the difference is, we are just taking that value and divided by previous month to date. So that will give us the a, a percentage variance. So let's take a look at that. So since we added a few more uh, a, a calculation items, so it, it needed a refresh here. And uh, now we have the variance and let's actually I'm going to remove other you can you can now I can use this uh, period uh, as a in my calculation uh, time intelligence calculation group I can use my period as a as a as a slicer as well so rather than picking everything what I will do is just for the sake of demo um, pick only few uh, month to date previous month to date month to date variance and quad month, uh, the percentage variance so now you can see so we have only four maybe make it a little bit bigger uh, 20 yeah so we have only uh, so month to date previous month to date so 745 is uh, our December 221 is our November and then the variance is 524 and this is dollar two uh, this is a percentage but why dollar two is uh, showing because we have to change the format because to be for uh, in the in percentage and this is one of the advantage using calculation groups is that you can actually control uh, what the format will be 
So here what we go back to our calculation group month to date variance. So either I can, uh, what I can do here is go to, uh, I can give the format string expression here or if I really want to uh, do it in, 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 want to write some long uh, format string, I can actually do it here as well in the editor. So let's say I want 0.00%. So that's my format string. So if I apply the changes, uh, we should see the percentage instead of uh, dollar. All right, here, so this is 237% increase. This went down minus 9%, this is 11, 13% minus and, and negative and whatnot. Same thing we will use for quarter to date and previous quarter to date. Uh, we can have the variance and all the stuff. Basically what we're doing is we are reusing the calculation uh, items within uh, another calculation items to get the value. I hope uh, this makes um, things uh, faster and quicker and uh, there isn't with the calculation groups and the items and you can perform these kind of time intelligence functions very uh, effectively and efficiently. Um, I will be doing few more videos until next video have a good day do subscribe my channel have a great day great weekend bye for now